Alright guys, how are y'all doing? Uh, we're gonna have a very quick MP5 gameplay here on Hanoi, which is the map. I don't really like this map, but I seem to get the best games on it. But uh, I want to talk about two things. One is a film I saw today, and um, which maybe a new series because uh, and it, well, I'll go on. Uh, maybe a new series I'll bring up about films uh, in my games. And uh, the second thing is going to be what am I gonna do with this channel and with Black Ops? So um, first thing I'm gonna mention is I've just I've been sick in bed this morning. So what I did was. Uh, I got the Minecraft server up and running, and uh, I watched a film called uh, The Runaway. Is it called The Runaway? It's a new one about the trains, and I was kind of skeptical, saying, you know, is it going to be kind of like a speed film, or what's going to happen? And I was, uh, I said, well, this can have potential, or uh, or this could just be an epic fail of a video. And um, so far in 2011, I've seen about four or five films. I've been treating myself for, let's say, in the last two months, uh, like Tron. I've seen. Um, a couple of ones I've downloaded uh, and I've got our friends and stuff like that and so far this has been the best film ever and of all the speeds they, they, it, is a, it is a speed you know like the first speed was the bus one and they were good films now I know this is a modern film and it's based on a train I was kind of thinking to myself there's not much you can do a train is on a train is on a line you can you know derail it do whatever damage the line you'll get it off somehow you know what are they gonna do and they managed to pull you know an hour and a half of a film out uh, using actors that are only, you know, they're not even well-known actors, they're only average actors, and uh, I must say, they did an excellent job, I love that film, it, I mean, it really touches you, it even, at some points, they kind of get you emotional, and it's like, how the hell can you do this in a film, I mean, you got big, big budget films like Tron, I mean, this must, I, don't, I haven't looked up now, this film, if it was big, big budget, or what was spent on it, etc., and um, I'll do this kind of, kind of stuff, if you want to see this, so uh, it was a great film. I'd advise you to go to the cinema if it's in the cinema. That is, uh, go see it, or if if it's in Exervision or in wherever your your local where you rent your local DVDs or something like that, or just uh, get a hold of it somehow and watch it. Um, watch it with the parents or with the girlfriend or whatever, or the boyfriend if you're a female that watches this. But um, it's a a very very good film to watch, and which is the second thing I'm coming along in this video is what am I going to do with this channel? Um, I used to get 150 to 200 views from my Modern Warfare 2 videos and uh, at the moment what's kind of happened is Minecraft has kind of taken over. Minecraft is where most of my subs are coming, my views and my feedback is coming from and uh, I want to try and get a leap with this channel. I want to try and get known better. Um, the thing is I've got about 10 to 20 Black Ops games. I can go on Black Ops and I can play for a day, let's say three or four hours, and I can get five or six videos which will do me for one to two weeks. Um, my KD at the moment has gone up to two, and you're going to see a couple of videos from that, but what I want to know from you guys is, what am I going to do with this channel? Um, I'm only getting, I mean my last video for Black Ops, I think it's only on 27 views or something like that, which is, you know, in my opinion, that's a bit of a joke considering that I've got so many subscribers and, and stuff like that, so I want to know, should I keep doing Black Ops videos, or should I just stick to the Minecraft? Um, or if you know anyone uh, who's well known on YouTube, who'd be willing to do a YouTube, if you can even email them or recommend them, or um, I've got a machine a video that I haven't accepted. So maybe if you want, I can give that to you, and you can you can ask people to upload to their channels. Just do something to get uh, kind of videos up there. I was getting one on Rock Presents, who is a machine director on his own channel, and it was. Everything was going great until he uh, people started to complain about all these uh, other people. So he put on a second channel. So instead of getting you know 10,000 views, it got 200 views. So um, that was kind of a uh, I was kind of sticking my head out there trying to get known, but that didn't quite work. And uh, most YouTubers out there couldn't be arsed doing dual commentaries with people who have you know less than two, three k subscribers. And I mean I haven't even re reached 500. And in saying that, there's only 30, 40, 50 people that watch the Black Ops videos. So I want to know what am I going to do with this channel? Should I keep making these Black Ops videos? Because the, the Minecraft ones are great, but they're very hard to come by. I mean, um, Minecraft gets boring very quick, so trying to keep people interested in that means one video, two videos a week at most. Whereas Black Ops, I can, you know, if you want, if you want two, three Black Ops videos a day, of course I can do that. But there's no point spamming everyone uh, with Black Ops videos when they're not going to be better watching them. So uh, please, guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what I'm meant to do with this channel. If you know anyone who who 
who is accepting videos or who wants to who wants dual commentaries and you know they're they're known or anything like that, please hook me up, help me out here, guys, because uh, I'm at a loss at the moment and uh, I really need your help. So thank you guys for watching this and bye bye.